Hey, get back here. So they took away our alt playbook method. And you can see my thoughts on that from early this morning. And I did promise at the end of that, and I think maybe a couple times, three, four dozen times, that we got a new loophole tonight. So here's the video on it. And uh, you guys often hear me talk about the stages of coin making methods from the auction house in Madden, right? There's legitimate glitches that should be patched soon because they're just that crazy, right? Like the Michael Vick glitch that we had with uh, the winter promo last year when he got converted over to regular. We had Megatron in the past, Moss, Team of the Week glitch, those glitches, right? That's the top tier. Those things need to get patched. Loopholes, which are ways of making coins without having to interact too much with the auction house by selling cards on it, which basically you can basically go infinite. We've had a lot of those this year. We had a lot last year, year before. Um, actually, I don't know about 18. Last year for sure. And then we have methods. And methods are basically ways of making coins by either rolling, and then you got to list cards on the block. You got to buy certain cards from the block, put in certain sets. But the market can shift on you. Methods could dry up. So they're slightly worse than loopholes. And uh, then below that, just like, you know, sniping on the auction house, playing the game, regular stuff like that. Good, good coin, good solid making coin making methods that way. But anyways, we're going to take something from a method to a loophole today. You guys have probably, you guys are probably sick of, sick of me talking about this, right? Theme Diamond 2 set piece, you want to know why? Because it, it has to do with arbitrage, right? I just want to talk about it off the top. Still rolling Theme Diamond 2 set pieces, like re-rolls. This, this Theme Diamond 2 set piece, this re-roll. I've been talking about it since, what, February, about how easy it is to make coins off of, I think that's when it launched, right? February-ish, the Theme Diamond 2 re-roll set, one of the consistent, consistently great sets in the game, because, and you're going to hear this word again like I've talked about often before, the arbitrage opportunities that this market gives us. For those who don't know what arbitrage means, basically... Taking the training ratio from the higher ones, you see, you see. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show you. From these numbers, where the training ratio is in the points, converting down to these numbers, where the training ratio is in the one point something. So you're like, oh, well, that makes sense, right? Converting some cards that are cheap into cards that are more expensive. So the theme diamond two, okay. It will make you a ton selling, but it's a method because you have to sell on the market and shift in market. If these if these uh, arbitrage opportunities go away, the margins get really thin. It doesn't really work anymore. So you're like, okay, that's a good method. And uh, I think as long as the margins are still here, it's still probably best to sell your Theme Diamond 2 re-rolls on the market. But this loophole doesn't really involve selling on the market. So it might be best at the start to take a hybrid approach, which I'll get to in a second. So the loophole. The loophole as, um, so I, I went and talked with uh, this this person um, and his name is on Twitter, on Twitter, muttfan11111. And he found uh, this, this video by Andrew489. I'll put both their links in the description uh, below on Twitter. Go ahead and go follow them there. Uh, but basically, we had some DMs back and forth, and he basically did all the math, so kudos to him. Uh, we talked about it for a while, then he, put in, he did a nice little thread, and I'll link the thread in the description below. Basically, so you can now take, uh, based off his numbers, you can now take all your Theme Diamond 2 set piece rolls and quick sell them, except 84s and under. And 84s and under, you're like, oh, those are always the most annoying ones anyways. So what's great 85 overall right here, you can quick sell this one. You can quick sell everything. But the hybrid approach, and the one that I recommend for now, is to not quick sell them, but sell them on the block. Or put your first 20 on the block, and then wait for those to sell, and then quick sell after that. So that way you can keep it going. Do you see what I'm saying? List them, wait for them to sell, and then quick sell after that. So that's the hybrid approach, which is another twist on this method. Um, so I, I recommend the hybrid approach at first until you fill up your auction orders. So you open these packs, okay? And then once you get the 80 to 84s, whatever, underneath that, you basically put them in. And this is funny. This is the one the one thing I skipped this year, the combine set. So I'm not very familiar with it. Uh, but I'm glad that they pointed this out. So you take your 80, um, 83 to 84 and 480 to 82s. You put them in this set. So let's just do it. I'll, I'll show it off. I got random 83 to 84s in my binder. Um you could just quick sell the 84s and only wait on the 83s to drop. His his uh, his 
um, thread goes through a lot of the math there, which I won't, we don't really need to get to, uh, where he tells the stats on it. And it's it's an interesting read, I think. All right, let me just let me throw in the 80s. So if you have a lot of also just random shit in their binder, this is a good way to clear out your uh, lower end of the binder too. So then you add those four to the set. You got to do it twice, of course. You open this random combine standout. And these 85s, you're like, oh, why don't I just buy 85s for 5K? Well, these 85s are going for 5K. So 87, whatever. I would I would quick sell. I would save the 87s um, for... Oh, no, no, sorry. Save save the high ones. You can, you can do whatever you want with them. But save like... Sorry. I'm not making any sense here. Let's restart. Save the last dance for me. So... Save 85 to like 89s, and then you can sell maybe 90s on the block, um, in my opinion. But save save the 85 to 89 to put in the next set. And I'm to add it to it. Okay. So now that we got two of these, you pull it. Uh, the 93s, I would probably quick sell or sell on the block. But uh, 85, 87 again. Okay. So then you take your two combine standouts. You throw it into this one for the token. You go here, two cards. I actually got a bunch of them, so we'll do a bunch of them anyways. I don't know. I, I pulled a couple of those. And then you just choose whatever token you want, and then you quick sell it. They're all quick sell for 10K. So you're basically converting over at, 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 at a pretty decent rate. It isn't an insane number, but it's just enough to get you over the hump. So collect it, and then once you collect it, you quick sell it. Okay? So there it is, 10,000 coins. So that's how you go from method to loophole. You just quick sell everything except for the 80 to 84s, which you add to the set, or 80 to 83s, because 83 is the minimum. There you go. That's the loophole. But like I said, I still think it's best when you pull that theme diamond two to do the method right here for the random combine standout for the 80 to 84s, and then sell on the block the rest of them on the auction house until the auction house shifts. It hasn't shifted since February on this. We'll see if it keeps if it shifts at all now. So that's the loophole slash method. Understand it? We've talked about theme diamonds a lot. I'm sure you're sick of it, but this was a nice little twist on it. And it helped take care of those annoying 80 to 84s, which is awesome. So good job to those guys for working it out, working out the math. I mean, James did a and then James's number. We and him talked about how many coins per hour. Basically, profit rate just doing the loophole, 50,000 coins an hour, which is worse than the alternate playbook method was. But I think with the hybrid approach, once you start selling cards in the auction house, that number goes up. So just to let you know, profit per hour, about 50,000 coins. Pretty good. Is it worth your time? That's on you. Worth is a you question. Worth is not a question for everybody else. What do you value your time at? And I'm not going to sit here and judge anybody for valuing their time more or want to do this as this is way more exciting than the playbook method ever was actually got some like decent packs on that um the also the only thing was um yeah he, he has two different method here he quick sells the 84s and just he leaves more extra 83s there he also quick sells the 92 to 93 combine players that come for this set that's that's another thing too quick sell if you get a 92 93 here quick sell sell your choice uh, kind of what I said. The higher overall ones probably want to just sell on the block. Um, so that is the loophole. One other thing, and one thing I, I do want to make certain that you guys here, you want to buy on Fat Fridays. You want to buy as many 96s, 97s, 98s as possible. Because if you guys look at what they cost, like I was sniping 96 and 97, 98s on Fridays are generally going for around those prices. And I just updated this a few minutes ago. This is their current prices right now. So you saw a lot of these cards go up dramatically after the weekend. So that's why I call Monday, Tuesdays into Wednesdays sell days with, you know, Fridays being the buy day. Saturday somewhat. All of packs suck, so it's not as good. But, like, I'll just show you, like, sniping these things, 15, 16K for 96. And then, like, you look at their prices, you're like, wow, I really could have made a lot of coins. So try to go broke on Fridays. Get rich or die trying, like 50 Cent always told us. But this, again is 100% on the market, and the market could shift, so this is not a 100% coin making method. If everybody does this, then prices will even out. Just wanna let you guys know, wait, wait, I wanna look at 96s. So go through and snipe, see, 29K, yeah. So I bought them, 15, 16K, 96 is selling for 29. Although, wait, this one did not sell. Omega lol. But, there you go. 
that's it. From method to loophole and that kind of like a weekly market ebb and flow is fucking huge. You should be able to make coins so easily in Madden right now just through these methods. Obviously, this loophole requires more than the alternate playbook method, which required you just have 150 training to start. But uh, it, it's not that bad. I'd start with, uh, I mean, like 70k training, I think is what you need to start to get it really going well. Uh, but uh, Theme Diamond set, once again, that rerolls God tier. And uh, I just wanted to beat it in your ears once again. We got ourselves more loopholes. But for right now, the method, the hybrid method loophole seems to be strongest. Just want to say that one more time. All right, thanks for watching. That's it for Market Monday. Um, look for, hopefully we'll get some more content Friday. We got a GMM stream Thursday morning, so I'll be up looking for that. Look for content on this channel. Talk about what they talked about and analyzing it. And hopefully they bring us some good news about content because, man, 20 is stale. But you know what? We still dominate it. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.